Hi guys, my name is CJ Carmen, and I'm here with Stephanie Ramirez. And uh, why are you here? I'm here because I'm the dispatcher of trucks. Um, I worked f uh, basically for this industry since some some years ago, and we're asking for transparency on, on all the work we're doing with the brokers. Uh, all all this situation about the rates gouging. Uh, the very unfair treatment of the truckers that been they're being receiving lately uh, on their works, the uh, hours of service and stuff like that that they're complaining about because it's not fair um, since they're working so hard and they're not being uh, taken serious right now. Can you tell me a little bit uh, a little bit about what happened in Houston? I believe you're from Houston, right? Yes, sir. I'm from Houston, Texas. And on April 20th of 2020, we uh, made a protest on 610 Highway mm -hmm. about this same situation we're here for. And basically, police came and took us down the protest. Mm -hmm. And they got what, me... What, what were you charged for? My charge was for uh, blocking the freeway and uh, organizing a riot. Mm -hmm which never happened. Uh, so you actually. have pending charges as of uh, today, right? Yes, or sir. currently? Yes. Okay. I'm waiting on court date, actually. Um, when we have a meeting with the White House, what is your message in regards to your case? What, what do you want to say? Well, my main message before anything, before even my case, is to please hear you guys. Because I believe well, if, we if, 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 if they heard us, let's say we're talking to them, what do you want us to say on your behalf in regards to what happened in Houston? Is there anything that you want them to do, or uh, do you want do you want a hand from the White House or DOJ? Of course, I would like them to help me out with this situation since we were not doing anything wrong. Just the same thing we have been doing here for so many peaceful days. Protest. Exactly a peaceful protest. We even talked to the police. We were trying to get them to the point to understand what we were protesting about. That was not nothing that we were mad or or angry or anything. We just wanted we just wanted to be here yeah. and fix our situation as workers of this country, such hardworking people, you know, and they just took it as a, as a something unorganized, you know. Gotcha. Um, is it true, I heard that uh, Houston opened an uh, investigation, Houston police opened an investigation into price gouging. That's what they said they were starting to do. I don't have a certain information. information about it because they called me a couple times after they they got me arrested mm -hmm. when they let me leave um they called me a couple times after so you actually got booked yes i did i did and um they took me there for about like 24 hours or so no it's just 72 hours so you were in custody for 72 hours yeah something like that well the thing is that afterwards they called me with, they supposed to talk with FBI about this and open up an investigation on brokers. But they wanted to meet me, my husband, that was in the protest That's as well. Name? Yes. What's your name, sir? My name is Samet Borrego. Samet. And um, they wanted to meet us and some other two or three drivers more to talk about this. So here you guys go. Uh, the person that got arrested in Houston is here. She drove up here to support us and sent our message to Mr. President. We believe he is the right man for this job. We believe that he made America great again. We know that he made America great again. And we believe that he can make trucking great again. Thank you. Out about safety, we're very focused on that at the Labor Department, giving workers, and I know you're focused too, on giving customers the confidence as they return. And we'll, we'll continue to work with CDC and others to help on that front too. And Gene, you have to help the truckers also. We've been talking okay. about the truckers, Mr. President. You gotta, I can yeah, give you a report. Because they've been out there, and I'll tell you, they <laughs> they work hard, and they have brokers that take a lot of their business away. They don't work so hard. They sit in an office someplace. It's not good. So I'd, I'd like to help the truckers. Yeah, Elaine and I have been talking about All right, that. good. Please.